Good evening, everybody. Thank you for coming out and joining us for our midweek Bible study. Um, so uh, I just have a few few words to say tonight. Um, now there is a lot of guidance and wisdom packed into the Word of God, God's law, lessons from the apostles, sermons from Jesus Himself, and we spend hours a week for our entire lives studying, trying to understand, trying to interpret, decipher. However, there are some commands that are simple. They don't require any deep understanding. They don't need you to study the original Aramaic or Greek. And these commands are those of repentance and baptism. And a little behind the scenes peek of how I prepare for invitations lately, I actually use artificial intelligence to help me compile verses that are related to what I want to talk about. And as I was brainstorming ideas of how I wanted to formulate this invitation, I gave it a prompt and asked it to compile a list of verses about repentance and baptism. And when you interface with these tools, they print it out like it's typing, like it's a person typing to you. And it just kept printing and printing and printing three pages of verses related to repentance and baptism. And I figured, well, that's, I guess that's a pretty good hook for the lesson then. Um, there are so many examples of these commands, and they are so very clear. So here are a few. Matthew 4, verse 17. From that time on, Jesus began to preach, preach, repent, for the kingdom of heaven has come near. Luke chapter 5, verse 32. I'll have not come to call, I have not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Acts 3, verse 19. Repent then and turn to God so that your sins may be wiped out, that times of refreshing may come from the Lord. And maybe one of the simplest, Mark 16, 16. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved, but whoever does not believe will be condemned. And on and on, passage after passage. Now, let me be clear when I say simple commands, I do not mean they are easy. And I also don't mean that they are decisions to be taken lightly, but understanding them is simple. So, if these words tonight have inspired you to follow the simple command, then you can be baptized in the waters of, uh, the waters of Christ and wash, away, wash your sins away, or you can renew a covenant that you already made by repenting of your sins. And if we can help you with either of these things, let it be known as we stand and sing. <laughs> 